One of the simplest ways to make corrections of transparent digital negatives in the Easy Digital Negatives program is to use spectrophotometers. In the first step, we print one of the so-called reference charts. Then the values are read with a spectrophotometer. In the last step, the result file is simply dragged into the EDN program. The program instantly calculates the corrections. We upload the correction file to the image, and that's it. We do not need any additional programs, mathematical calculations, and text files corrections to make corrections in the easy digital negatives. And most importantly, making a correction is the same for all photographic processes. And so on. Easy Digital Negative supports quite a few programs for working with spectrophotometers. We can upload a CGATS, C-Lab text file from i1 profiler to the program. Color Monkey users can work with Color Picker and the X-Write Color Exchange CXF file. But, as fewer and fewer official programs support reading reference charts, more and more users opt to use the open-source Argyle CMS program. This program is free, but at the same time allows you to work with almost all spectrophotometers. And we will talk about this, an increasingly popular program, in this very video. Argyle CMS is a set of command line tools, executed manually via the terminal program on the Mac system, or via the command prompt program on the Windows environment. Like almost all programs, Argyle CMS must be installed before use. However, since the installation method depends on our operating system, it is best to read the installation instructions at argylecms.com.installing.html. Once the program is installed, we first need reference maps for our spectrophotometer. Files can be downloaded from easydigitalnegatives.com. In the download menu, we find the file test chart zip. We download it to our computer and extract it. In the main folder, we notice a few subfolders. We are interested in the Argyle folder. Files with the suffix T2 contain descriptions of reference charts for different spectrophotometers, and files with the suffix TIFF are images of charts. We start making corrections by first printing a photo of the reference chart. In our case, we opt for the file EDN Argyle at one rgb 101tif We create a positive image from the printed file. When the sample image is dry, we read the values. We open the terminal or command prompt program. Then we write the command, chart tread minus n, minus l, and drag the file with our chart's description, EDN Argyle at one rgb underscore 101t 2 into the window. We press the enter key and follow the instructions. In the first step, we calibrate the spectrometer and then start reading the sample. When we have read all the lines, we press the D key. The program creates a file with the read values. The result now has the suffix T3. Now we go to easydigitalnegatives.com and run the EDN command via the run menu. We drag the file with the read values into the browse or choose files button and save the correction by clicking on the desired file type. We finish the work by opening a program for editing digital photos. We add a correction to our image, invert and mirror the image and print the negative with the appropriate settings. And that's all. In the next video, we'll talk about print settings. Thank you so much for your time and see you soon.